eligible to apply and be accepted into the UNFCCC GIR CAS program because I'm a government official in South Africa. I work for the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment uh, and I'm part of the team that is responsible for compiling the national inventory. had to fill out an application form, send in some references as well as other supporting documentation um, and we sent that via email and they got back to us a few weeks, uh, those of us who were shortlisted and I was invited to an English uh, interview over Zoom which was, um, I think it was about an hour or 30 minutes um, and then after that they did communicate to me that I had successfully uh, gone through the application process and so I could join uh, the program uh, in 2023. Um, it was very exciting. Uh, it was a three-week program for us, so we were there in Seoul, South Korea for the entire three weeks. We were in class from morning until evening. It was a bit intense, but it was also very exciting and very useful. Uh, we got really top-class lecturers that came and just taught us about all the different sectors. Um, and I got to learn a lot about uh, the other sectors that I wasn't completely knowledgeable about. Um, and so they gave a very good foundation um, and lots of tips that really assisted us. Um, something else that was very valuable about the program was the fact that there were so many other people from other countries um, and we constantly had to do uh, country presentations and I think that was one of the, the, the best parts as well, that you got to learn about other countries uh, and got to learn about how they compile their inventory, how their institutional arrangements are set up um, and also got some tips uh, that I was able to take, take back home uh, with me to also help improve our inventory compilation process um, as well. And in addition to that, outside of all of the valuable knowledge that we got to learn in the classroom, we also did get a time to go and explore Seoul and just explore the culture and meet new people. Um, so yeah, all in all, it was three weeks. It was a great experience um, and I really would highly recommend that you apply uh, and I hope you get it. All the best. My name is Ulampius Frederick and I live in St. Lucia, which is a small island developing state in the Caribbean Sea. Yes, I was eligible to participate in the 13th UNFCCC GIR CAS program on greenhouse gases. I work as the policy and program officer for the government of St. Lucia, and I serve on several technical working groups established by the Department of Sustainable Development for preparing St. Lucia's fourth national communication to the UNFCCC, specifically for the compilation of the National Greenhouse Gas Inventory Report with a focus on the waste and energy sectors. The training program is structured to cover several key topics. Lectures on the basics of the National Inventory Report covered the fundamentals of national communications, biennial update reports, and biennial transparency reports. The rest of the lectures focused on the four IPCC sectors, namely energy, IPU, AFOLU, and waste. Additionally, the training program also included in the schedule a fun culture tour and informative field trip. What I enjoyed most about the training was actually the field trip where we got an opportunity to visit two amazing public utilities in Seoul, South Korea. Both facilities showcased fascinating advancements in technology for climate change mitigation using processes engineered towards a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. My advice to future trainees is do not hesitate to ask questions and contribute to the discussions. No question is foolish. You can learn a lot from your fellow colleagues and likewise, you can contribute to the information sharing where others can learn and benefit from your knowledge and experience. In my final comments, I'd just like to say, be committed to implementing the knowledge gained during the training when you return to your home country, whether it was some new statistical software that you were introduced to, 
or you now have a better understanding of how to calculate greenhouse gas emissions in your sector of interest, it's important to share that knowledge with your colleagues and likewise put it to good use. And feel free to email the course organizers to let them know about your progress at work and how you have put into practice the lessons learned during the training. It will encourage them that this course is truly having a positive impact on your career and by extension on your circle of influence. Hello, my name is Pamela Avreu. I work for the National Council for Climate Change and Clean Development Mechanism at the Dominican Republic, specifically in the Department of Mediation. Yes, I'm eligible because I'm a government official. In terms of the GSG inventory, the National Council for Climate Change is in charge of the final validation of the GSG inventory with submission to the UMCCC. The UMCCC GeoCast program was very interactive. We had the opportunity to share our knowledge as well as receive feedback from other colleagues from other countries. It was very interesting to have the opportunity to receive feedback from the lecturers, how we can calculate these emissions, but as well how other developing countries had the opportunity to find a solution for the tier two, tier three, in terms of the quantification. If I could provide an advice, would be learn what's happening in your country in terms of the GHG inventory. Ask questions to your lecturers and to your colleagues and try to really be involved as well as learning from other cultures, creating new ways of finding collaborative efforts. If you're really interested in this program, learn about the GSG inventories and IPCC guidelines. What are the main sectors? What are the things that you're facing in terms of the challenges and solutions that you have found regarding your expertise? Also, you're coming to Korea. This is an amazing opportunity to learn more about this country and how can you collaborate with them in terms of improving your inventory, but also creating the collaborative efforts for the future. Hello, my name is Tishin Demo. I work with the Department of Energy under the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources, Royal Government of Bhutan. Yes, I'm eligible because I am a government official and working with Department of Energy, we are one of the data providers in the energy sector for GHG inventories. We have a sister agency, Department of Environment and Climate Change, under the same ministry, which is the focal, the lead agency for the GHG inventories. We work closely with them. But at that time, when I was applying for the training, I was one of the main focals who was working with the Energy Data Directory. We were quite lucky that training was completely free for us. Not just the training, all of the logistics, the flights, the accommodations, field trips and cultural tours were all funded by GIR and UNFCCC. I've always been interested in the GHG inventories, so this entire training program was a wonderful learning experience for me. I particularly enjoyed that I got to all of the sessions the ways, the full sessions, not just the energy sector, because when I attended all the sectors, enhanced my knowledge on the GHG inventories. I also got to learn the software's relevant guidelines and documents that goes into preparing the GHG inventories. So overall, I really thought the training was very helpful and then very informative and I learned a lot. So when I was writing my daily journals, what I was trying to do was recap what I did that day, uh, what I learned in the classes, maybe as a tip of writing the journal, note some key points, what was happening during the day, what I did before the sessions began. For instance, during the session, if I see something interesting or hear something interesting, I would make a short note on it. When I go back to my room, I would basically recap what I was doing, what I was learning, what I was experiencing, 
and what I would like my fellow readers to know about. So all of that actually helped me write a good journal which helped me get the best journal award. Final comment from my end would be that it is a wonderful training. I've learned a lot apart from the training itself. It was a wonderful experience to meet a lot of new people from different countries, to explore, try new culture. So overall, it was a very enriching experience, not just from the technical perspective of learning about GHG inventories, but also having a better experience in life. So, um, if you are planning to apply for this training, I think it's a great idea and then you should really go ahead with it. Wishing you all the best. Hello, my name is Wabo Yanikowalia. I come from Cameroon. I am one of the consultants working with the Ministry of the Environment of my country in a greenhouse gas inventory estimation. Yes, I was eligible to the training program that you are trying to uh, apply now. I am working on the IPPU sector and also in the development of different policies linked to climate change uh, in my country. All the different lecturers were good in what we were doing. Many of our lecturers were also people who have developed the different emission factors, some of them the IPCC guidelines. And all this was very, very impactful to me because I've learned a lot on how to collect data, how to do the greenhouse gas estimation, and work on the, all the sectors being able to make the control quality. When I went back to my country after the training program, I had this chance to participate to another greenhouse gas inventory BNR report because we are preparing our BNR reports. And also, I participated to the in-country review of Belgium for their eighth national communication and fifth BNR report. One thing I could tell to the different applicants is that you have you should prepare and also be truthful in your application. Say exactly what you know. Answer to the different question with you. Don't take something else uh, to put in your answer because it will not be helpful. Be truthful. Thank you.